Hello everybody. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit today about two instruments in the string family. So the violin, which I've got here, you may have seen already, but the viola, which I'm just going to hold up so you can see the difference. You might not have seen one of these. So the viola looks very much like the violin. It's bigger, which means that the sound is that bit deeper than the violin. So I'll play you a little bit on both instruments in a moment. Violins and violas evolved from instruments that were around in medieval times, and one of those was called the rebec, which looks a little bit like a kind of thin violin, but it still had strings on, still had a bow, and this group of instruments were sometimes played like this, so really low down on the player's shoulder, not how we'd hold the violin now, or they were held on the player's lap, a bit like a tiny cello. But over time, these instruments evolved into what we've got now as our string family. And famous violin makers were in Italy in the 17th, 18th centuries called oh, people like Amati and Stradivarius. They made violins which are, some of them are still around now and they're very, very expensive. And violas, you'll hear them in all kinds of music. You'll hear them in classical orchestras, you'll hear them in small chamber groups like string quartets, you'll also hear them in folk music, pop music, jazz music, and in lots of film music. So I'm just going to play you a little bit. I'm going to play you two bits on the violin and two bits on the viola, then you can hear really hear the difference between the sound of the two instruments. And now something a little bit faster, something by a composer called Bach. There we go. So the violin can do all sorts of things. It can play fast notes, can play slow notes. It's very, very expressive. All members of the string family of instruments are very, very expressive. Here's a little bit on the viola. So, so I'm saying the viola is very similar to the violin, still has four strings, still uses a bow. The notes are a little bit further apart because the instrument's bigger. Can you hear the difference between that on the violin and that on the viola? And here's a little bit of, um, of a traditional song. And the viola is used in the middle of the orchestra, so it kind of plays the middle of the sound. The violins tend to play the tune on the top, and the cellos and basses do the bass line underneath. The viola plays 
what's going on in the middle so it fills in the harmony but it does often get to play the tune as well so I'll just hold the two instruments up again so you can see the difference there we go and you can learn both violin and the viola in school so thank you very much for listening